watch some movies, and I'm like, bro, this shit is not funny. Are the only one that was funny was the one that he played all four characters. That motherfucker was that one was. He did like an Eddie Murphy type thing. Yeah. He played like the daddy. The, he played like three different guys. At least you've seen that. Like, that's way before your time. Yeah, yeah white nigga. They should came out in like the 70s. So no, <laughs> but it wasn't funny though. I mean, no, that one was funny, but the other one was like, is it Brewster's oh, Millions and shit oh, like yeah. that? Oh, Brewster's Millions yeah, and they did. Busting Loose. He probably know about Busting Loose. I do. Loose. Oh, okay. They, uh, on, on this thing called Tubi, on uh, Spark TV, they play mm -hmm. all the old shit. Dolomite. They be having all that shit. Yeah, that's. Let's be the king. He the king. Eddie Murphy. Watching that same shit, and they did it like on YouTube or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they just a little watered down. It's not well, as funny, but it is funny. Okay. Like, Give me somebody that's funny. Like, like, as funny than this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like, uh, 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 what's his name? Fuck, not Joe, Joe, not Joe, not Joe, what's his name? Joe, Tony, no, Tony, um, Chris Rock? Yo, Tori is. No, not Tori. He's saying down a little bit. They can hear it. Tony Robbins. Oh, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. Yeah, Hilarious. Uh, okay, that's what he's saying. Anyway. But that's, that's, he just ended. <laughs> that's what's up. He's like, he's not saying Tony. Yeah, no, he, he's funny. The barbecue. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Uh. <laughs> What you like the most about San Antonio? The barbecue. The barbecue. Okay, I don't think I ever heard that before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that Bill Miller's slamming, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Where'd you go to get barbecue? <laughs> I've been asking people for years. Why can't I get some? Some barbecue in San Antonio. You want the smoke shack? Okay, I ain't never been there, so it's, it's off the chain. Okay, you can do what I said. Okay. Cool. So yeah, San Antonio got good food. Period. I think we we just got good food out here. People don't give us recognition. We got all kinds of stuff. We got uh, soul food out here. Okay. And yeah, we do got soul food out here. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I mean. Can we own? But, uh, Can y'all hear us? Oh, they hear us. What up, world? It's Radioactive Podcast, and I'm your host, Ace Boogie. Kevin Hart's not funny. And this is your dude, Lambo Warren. What? You don't think Kevin Hart's funny? Not really. I think he's like, yeah, not really. Hmm. Hmm. What y'all think? Kevin Hart is funny. I don't know why everybody turning on Kevin Hart. I'm not turning on who we got. We introduce these guys with who we got. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can y'all introduce yourselves, please? Uh, I go by the name of Bobby Smith, a.k.a. B. Smitty for the, the black people. <laughs> uh, DJ Double K for all my people in East Texas, Calvin Ross. Man, shout out to folks watching, man. What up, Shannon? What up, Charlotte? Hey, yo, if y'all watching, leave a comment. If y'all watching, leave a comment so we can shout y'all out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, gentlemen. You guys, you guys have started a new business. Oh, tell yeah. me, tell me about it. Uh, we open in comedy club, a comedy club in San Antonio, Texas, called Upstage Comedy Lounge. Uh, we opening up Labor Day weekend. Black owned comedy club. Mm -hmm. But anybody can come. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Anybody can come. Where's this located? Uh, we located right there off of uh, Walsham. It's forty four forty one Walsham Road. 
uh, right there where the old bar 23 used to be. I think it used to is be. It, is it next to uh, Wayne's Wings? Yeah, it's the corner of Austin Wayne's Highway Wayne's and Walls and next to Wayne's Wings. In yeah. the same in the same strip right, mall. Right there where that little where Austin Highway uh, is. Yeah, yeah Austin, uh, Austin Highway and Walls and Meat. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, I want to know, first off, well, first off, where are you guys from? Let's get to know y'all real quick. Uh, I'm from San Antonio uh, by way of Arkansas. I lived in Arkansas the first part of my life. Mm -hmm. San Antonio is my home. Um, I'm from small town East Texas called Nacogdoches. What up, Nac? Um, but you know I did 22 years in the army, so came to San Antonio for my for my <laughs> thing, and then uh, end up staying here. I love San Antonio, so yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, with all the comedy clubs going on in San Antonio, what's going to set y'all comedy club apart from everybody else? Man, that's a good question. A great question. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we're going to have uh, probably some of the better food for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have some of the best drinks. <laughs> you know, competitive prices. So, have, so they're going to have heavy hands when it comes to the drinks. You know, I ain't saying all that. But, you know, <laughs> you know. No, it's not about really setting us apart. We're just going to have another alternative because there's only one comedy club in San Antonio. And we think there's a, a lot more talent out there. We're going to represent more local comedians, uh, more um, national comedians that don't get a platform in San Antonio. Like um, like you. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like JJ Williams from my favorite comedians. He can't yeah. really, he can't Yo. really get a spot in San Antonio. He's but I can't okay. wait. And well, we already that's booked him. That's my type of comedy. He's right. funny. Okay. As you know JJ. You know yes. Right. So he funny shit. We I, we first seen him on the that Jamie Fox. Like, what he's like? You ever go into the restroom at about three o'clock in the morning? He's like, he said that's benefits of living in the hood. Yeah, that's right. He's like, you go into the restroom at about three o'clock in the morning, sit on the toilet. Bitch, I'll beat your goddamn ass! Beat your goddamn ass! That nigga say, come here, baby. You can hear me. You can hear me. You can hear me. He's funny as fuck, bro. Funny yeah. as that hell. Yeah, yeah, years ago. Well, that's dope that y'all know him because a lot of San Antonio people. They don't. Yeah. If you say the name, well, we they, they don't know. But if they see right. him, they might know who he is. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he was also in uh, Johnson Family Vacation. Mm -hmm. He was in those Budweiser commercials with yeah, Sergio and Entertainer. Yeah. So, yeah. He's in like, he's like, he's like my neighborhood and shit. You ain't even got to go to the gate. You ain't even find an open apartment guy. Yeah, you just go in it. Yeah. He's got to go arm at the gate. Been broke for you. He's got to go arm at the gate. Been broke for you. He's got to Funny as fuck, bro. But he got more national recognition now. He's on national syndicated radio show, DD in the morning, Dallas Fort Worth area. Mm -hmm. So 104.5, yeah, you know, shameless plug. But yeah, he on that show every morning. So uh, we got him booked in, uh, I think, October. October. Yeah. He's going to be our, our official grand Grand opening. opening. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we yeah. in that we month. Yeah. And you got, uh, like you got TK ah! coming out. TK, TK coming. Gonna be following up. Man, that. come on, y'all. Y'all don't know. Yes, like yes. That. And I don't they think bring some folks down. Right, and I don't think TK's ever done San Antonio like at the L LOL club or something like that. Mm -mm. So that's that's what's gonna stand us apart. Right. We're gonna bring comedians that you know more mainstream across the country, but don't really do well in San Antonio. But we're gonna have that audience for. So how are you gonna get San Antonio to to come out? Plain and simple, being that they don't know like talking about it. I think we're just gonna promote a different way. They don't, you know, other clubs don't really promote the like, artists, the black comedians like that the right or any way. comedians so really we're gonna be hitting platforms like this mm -hmm. and, you know because people know the comedians apparently mm -hmm. they're right. just not being promoted the right way so that's, true. that's that's gonna be our angle Man, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot of hard work you know feet to the grindstone getting it out there going to all the barber shops barbecue places putting flyers up so yeah Okay, man. Shout, shout out Frida, man. Shout out Verso, Patrick, Eric. What's the deal? Jackie, what's the deal, man? Appreciate y'all tuning in. Okay, so how did you, first of all, is it hard to reach out to these folks and get them booked, or it's not that hard? Uh, it's not hard since I've been doing it for so long, and I've built relationships either performing with them or just kind of through the social media scene. Because mm -hmm. uh, most, most comedians would, you know, reach out to you. know how it is. Mm -hmm. You've done some comedy stuff. If you, you know, hit them up, they'll, they'll, they'll hit you back. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, Let me ask you this. I'll be watching a lot of comedy. I love comedy. Right? I love comedy. I, I just love comedy, right? So, what up, Jason? Um, you just don't love Kevin Hart. It's not, that love, it's not that I don't love Kevin Hart. Damn. So we were talking about y'all. We go. We were talking about if Kevin Hart is still funny. I said he's funny as an actor. He's not as funny as a stand-up comedian. But someone that I was watching um, something on YouTube and one of the comedians. Damn, I forgot who it was. He was saying that the funniest comedians have been through some of the worst pain. If you and he, he was just he was just comparing mm -hmm. it. he was comparing mm -hmm. it to and he was like take for instance and I'm, I don't want to put anything on someone else, Kevin Hart or anyone, I'm not going to name their names, but just saying, he, he named this comedian and like noticed them when they saying this and then noticed this comedian how 
he was on drugs and, mm-hmm. he did this, 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 and you see how funny he is is that does life experience have to have anything to do with how funny the comedian would be yeah tell us about your pain right <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> my mama locked me in the closet. <laughs> you saying that makes me feel like, okay, that's probably why you don't like Kevin Hart, because he's not that type of comedian. He doesn't really draw from pain. He's just a happy, you just talk about my family type stuff. He doesn't, you know, I don't think it's a clean that, cut. No, I think that, that, that I would give you talking about the clouds. He just is the same family, kids, this, marriage. This. Some people love over Kevin over Hart. Here. Right, I think they love the name of Kevin Hart, but I, if you went up there and said those same jokes, it wouldn't be as funny. Not you, but just yeah, saying, yeah. like, if someone just went up there and just said, anybody better shit ain't funny. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's the name. But anyway, yeah, yeah. as far as pain the things go, is that does that does that have a lot to do with, with like the comedy of some of the most hurtful or people that are most that pain the most? The uh, I think so. I mean, me personally, I always try to take the most painful situation and then make it funny because people can connect with that. Like, yeah, you know, I feel that, and then. If you have the ability to just go left with it, it kind of just makes the joke even bigger. So, right. uh, I think definitely. I mean, Richard Pryor went through more than anybody, and he's considered the, the I goat. Fuck with Richard Pryor. I yeah. love Richard Pryor. And you know what's crazy? I, I, like, for instance, did you really have a gallbladder? Oh, oh yeah. Stones, kidney stones. Okay, so you took you took something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He actually made a song. I can't piss. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually made a song. He made a song out of. Out of uh, you know the, the what was it called? Uh, uh, gallbladder gall- full of stones. Gallbladder full of stones. You know what I'm saying? Full of stones. Right. Yeah, that came out of fear because they was like, man, we need to go remove this gallbladder right now. That is it's full of stones, and I was, I was I talking scared. about kidney stones. That's what I'm talking about. Kidney stones. Uh, mm. Gallbladder stones. I yeah, kidney know. stones. Gall stones. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's when you got to piss, ain't it? Uh, I think the kidney stones. Yeah. What's the yeah. gallbladder stones? Uh, gallbladder stones. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just Damn. your gallbladder can um, it, it turns into like little crystals or something and. I don't even it, know. Is, like is it worth some money? Yeah, <laughs> Those crystals worth some money or what? <laughs> yeah. Was it, it's like uh, you, you don't really need your gallbladder, so a lot of people get them removed. Mm. Yeah. Like, almost like a no, I'm keeping things. everything in my body. You can live with minus one. I want whatever is in here. Right. Keep it in there. <laughs> That's how I feel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm okay. So, as far as the the the, the comedy club, who local? Do you want to get on there? In, in your opinion, locally, who's that? Who's that local person? You like? You Bear know what? County local. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Some well, of your favorite locals. Well, yeah, I already, I already got them uh, set to come. You know, like your Blair Thompson. Uh, you know, Debo. Blair is your co-host, isn't he? Oh yeah, on my podcast, mm-hmm. something for the people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, I mean. I don't want to just book all my friends. I want to book the funniest people. But uh, Robin Williams is an example. Yeah, he was an example of uh, people in pain that. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Depression. They're going through shit. Yeah. Is Robin Williams funny? I thought he was funny. Uh, a, For I, that time, I think. I like him in movies and stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> he's like I point agree. proven. I agree. One of those people, funny on like in the movie. Even his TV show back in the day, uh, Morty and Mindy. On See, that was before our time. Comedy he did Robin Harris was in Mork and Mindy. I didn't know that shit. No, no, Robin Williams. Oh, Williams. Oh, oh, white room. Oh, he had a couple of stand-up specials. He did a couple of. He did but, why, Robin, Robin was more slapstick comedy though. There we yeah. go. That's what it's called. Yeah, he, he did like sound yeah. effects. Look, yeah, explain what, what, is, what is slapstick comedy? Can y'all explain? <laughs> I mean, I'm not a comedian, but to Who's me, mine is it anyway? Yeah. Well, that's more ad lib, but slapstick comedy is like the way you move your body, falling down, right. getting up, hitting yourself in the face. Yeah. That's, that's like Damon Wayne. Wayne's, not, not Damon, uh, Marlon. Marlon's Marlon, like that. yeah. Oh, like Carrot Top could possibly yeah. something like that. But, but yeah, Rob Williams is definitely probably like Three Stooges. Prop, like, yeah. Three Stooges. Yeah. 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 What's going on, Frederick? Yeah, Three Stooges, that's slapstick yeah. comedy, yeah. yeah. It's not considered like cerebral, you know, what I'm saying? Right. Like you think, it's just more. Who, who are some of your influences for, for comedy? Like, what are uh, your influences? From. Dave Chappelle, number one, and if I watch Dave Chappelle stand up, I'll be like ready to write a whole right, special right. in my head. Do you ever get uh, like, do you ever, for instance, because like for instance, Arby, he doesn't like to listen to a lot of rappers because I guess maybe influence or something. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you have that same? No, nah, I listen to everybody. Mm-hmm. I, um, I mean, YouTube guy, you can watch, I watch a lot of underground comedians that, you know, I never heard of. And, right. Yeah, I, I watch, I mean. I so Dave, and and you said DJ. Do you just DJ or you do 
No, I don't do comedy at all. I I think I'm funny, but nobody else think I'm funny. <laughs> I like I love playing music. I'm a, I'm a music historian, so I just that's what I do. But and he know comedy like yeah. I mean I do. I watch a lot of comedy. Like yeah, I, I, I love yeah. I love comedy, and I can critique my ass off, but I ain't right. I ain't getting into you I ain't, up there and do it. No, I ain't getting up there. Cause I you know you know it's I'm a, it is all. It's, it takes it talent. It's take. I mean, you know, I'm a teacher, and I was in the army for 22 years, so I can get in front of people and, and hold a sentence. But I've seen this dude work, man, and sometimes I'll be like, "How in the hell you do that?" Because because mm -hmm. to hold an audience, man, that takes talent. Right. And then if if a bum doesn't joke and you know how to get through it, because I've seen you know some of the locals get on stage because we've been doing shows all around the city for five years or something like that. Um, um, and they get on stage, they they joke bomb, and they don't know what like, to do. <laughs> it's like you doing the DJ set. I mean, you you you, you gotta keep doing different shows, right. figure out what works. Like, okay, I know I right. do this type of song for this type of audience. Right. Kind of, I mean, it's, so how how do what, what is what what is like everybody has a style of rap. Like, mm -hmm. okay, this is punchline rap. This is hardcore rap. This is a, what is what, what is your style of comedy? And I don't know what the different styles would be named, but what would you name? I guess style of comedy. Style? Yeah. Uh, it man, hard as shit. <laughs> hard. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm uh, I consider myself more versatile. People consider me more of a, even though I don't, I cuss a little bit. I'm, uh, it's not like I don't. Yeah, I, I'm I, not an offensive comic. Right. I, I call this dude like more of a corporate. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I've been to some of them. Like, no, no. But I, I like it. Yeah. I, I think he's more of a corporate comic. Like. You know, USA hiring for a ball, this, this hey, dude. No, I, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna offend anybody. In my, no, ain't nobody gonna walk out on my show. Like he can, he can appeal, appeal to anybody. There you go. But yeah. you about to hire T.K. Kirkland? I love T.K. Kirkland. He he offend mother. You know he mm -hmm. offend. He offensive mm -hmm. as He be he be in the crowd like, hey fella, if you don't do this, you're and we and, and, and we try and, and we trying to get Corey Holcomb. He offend everybody. Oh, <laughs> everybody. I, I like Corey. <laughs> Corey's Corey's a shit though. Corey Holcomb is more uh, and he's funny. Corey Holcomb to me is more. He just up there talking shit. Mm -hmm. he, just, he just up there. But it's real shit. though. It's real. It's uh, stuff. It's stuff that people would like to say like but can't Corey say. Holcomb. I used to like Corey Holcomb, but now he knows. Now it's more of the shock for him, so he's going to try to like shock the audience yeah. or something like that. That's how he came in the game talking about like abortions and shit. Abortions yeah. and Side stuff chicks, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Getting booed. Yeah. Yeah, I, ain't gonna I thought. He, I thought he was going to say it was one of those things like when you actually meet someone you look up to and then they're not who you think they are. When you met him, what did you think of him? Corey Oakland? Mm -hmm. I haven't met him. You never? You really? I mean, I watch the show. I don't really uh, go up to comedians after the show. Why? I do. I do uh, too. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm still one of them dudes that get like starstruck sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel stupid, so I'm like, I'll let y'all do y'all thing. You know what's crazy, Bobby? You come off like real shy. You know what I'm saying? But you're a, a stand-up comedian. That doesn't make any that sense. That all goes away when you hit the stage. It's weird. Yeah. yeah it's that alter ego thing. You know, yeah. you get on stage, you like, it kind of gives you that. I like when, I like, I like when, when the comedian is a little... Like the person that they are, they they incorporate that. Like, what's old girl's name? Is it Sarah Sil? No, 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 not her. It's a, she. She a white girl. Uh, from New York. You talking about uh, Schumer? Yeah, Amy, Amy Schumer. Schumer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the way she acts. Like I could see her being that. Like when she's talking, I could see her being that actual person. And then they have other comedians. I said like, like a little. Oh, okay. side. Like when he's saying that, just I like when they incorporate. Heard, like they be a little awkward and they shit like. Oh, I heard Dave Chappelle was like that. Like mm -hmm. how he actually is on stage? Well, no, he's more like uh, introverted, know, reserved. Yeah, yeah, off stage. You right. know, he, he ain't the day you feel character that you know. But then when you get on stage, he opens up. Right. Right. Do but rappers be like that too? I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Do they? Yeah, I yeah. guess you know. I think yeah. I think with a lot of rappers, it is a it's a persona that they try to they try to feel okay. like when they have these big ass chains on and shit. That shit hurts your neck. Uh, like Young Jeezy talked about a million diamonds in your watch. That depreciates the watch. I just think that it's just you know they just do it for the, for the image. But I don't know. Do you ever get nervous like if someone doesn't laugh? Like, are you afraid to heckle? I always ask them before they go on stage. Like I've asked Alvin Perino, like, hey, can I heckle? They be like, no, no. Uh, we don't. I mean, most com comedians don't like hecklers because we kind of have a direction we want to go. If we, mm -hmm. you know, if we tell them our set. We want to be like a heckler's gonna throw you. I off. came to witness funny. <laughs> be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we hate that actually. Yeah, we hate that. <laughs> I thought that, I, I, I honestly thought that they incorporated that into the shit. Cause it, That's what most so, people think. Like Martin, yeah. like when you watch their comedy That's show. That's those good freestylers, That though. nigga be on it. Like, the motherfucker, I, I thought that he wrote that shit. Like, he backstage looking at me. Well, he's the like, host, though, too. This nigga and do this. As the host, Martin was coming out with not really a set. So he was out there talking shit. Right. So he probably do want that if he's hosting. But if a comedian wants to hit his five minutes. Well, yeah, set, he did start it, too. Like, he'll start talking about them, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So. 
Yeah, you can you can heckle the host, and that's his job is to get everybody together. And like, if they right. heckled you, you just went on stage. Would you be like politely, can you guys stop? Or like, what is? Ooh, he better like, not. He better not say, can you guys stop? Yeah, like, what is? What the do What do you do? For a heckler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it just depends on who the heckler is, and like you throwing if tomatoes at the head. If Ace is <laughs> that heckling, what the hell you going It just it depends. I'm if, going if, to the crowd. If Ace <laughs> if Ace is heckling with up. with hate in his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Then, the <laughs> then he might get you know some aggressive you know aggressive comeback. But if, if if he's being cool about it, then you know there's a different type of style, way to come back at him. So. Oh, buddy, mm. uh, who did you just go see? He's funny. Andrew well. Schultz. He's funny. Andrew Schultz is, is, but see, he's a great freestyler as well. Like he's that's that's most well. of his show. He pick people out the, out the audience and he just start freestyling on them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Um, like, Dr. Hewley does that too. Yeah, I, do I don't think Dr. Funny though. Well, you uh -oh. got, well, think about DL, man. No, you have to be great activist, great brother. I'm right. I'm gonna <laughs> ban you from my comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, you have a photo. Funny. Can I have but a you have to be up on every topic in America to understand DL. I, that's comedy. I'm about to say. Yeah. I like because I'm on that. I'm about to say. You, DL, you have to be under, very informative. They can hear that. Yeah. He's very informative. Um, I compare, very knowledgeable. I compare right. DL to like a, a Jay Z. You know, Jay Z started rapping more about street stuff. But I would compare as he DL got older, to his music got older. DL's comedy's gotten older, so he's right. talking about more. Exactly. Politics. I would say DL is the modern day. Um, who was that? That was on. He just passed, and they were saying like he was gay, but I, he was with Dave Chappelle. He was, uh, Charlie Murphy. Okay. No, no, not Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy was not gay. Not, 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 <laughs> not Charlie Murphy. Oh, Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Oh, Paul Mooney. I would Paul say Mooney was, you Paul Mooney was gay. hilarious. Yeah. Well, not, but aside of gay, I'm not. Oh, that one, let's not make that. <laughs> <laughs> but just saying, yeah, yeah I want to be. Like, I never heard Paul Mooney. You know, he was a comedian, but it, Rick, uh, Dick Gregory, mm -hmm. so to speak, like they were comedians, mm -hmm. but you they weren't really like Dick I love Dick. Gregory. Okay, okay. But I love Dick Gregory more for what he was saying, not, for not his, to me. He wasn't funny, right? Right. I but he was. Never, I've watched Dick Gregory, like just not funny. But I, I take that as uh, the yeah, fact that you know, know about Dick, Dick Gregory is big. Yeah, but but. I take it. I like Dick Gregory because he talks shit and he's mm -hmm. really about to tell you what the fuck going on. And he well, mean you know, he, mm -hmm. he, that, That's what I'm saying. He talks. Shut about up, shit. He, boy. He, yeah. mean, he, 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 he quick, mean, bro. You tell him, yeah, what? So, but what about America Day? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> you don't fucking know about America Day. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. Ass, yeah. Like, <laughs> damn, Dick. Damn. He but will what go. Oh, is, you don't to know me. Shit. You don't know. That's what Dino Ubley is, which is. I appreciate more of what he's saying, not the oh, comedic reference of okay. it. So it's still very important, but to me. And you, you love as Bill Cosby as well. Same thing. Uh, Bill Cosby was funny. He was funny. funny. Yes, he was. Oh, Have you really listened God. to his shit? What are we listening Man. to? But again, that's not old my comedy. That's not my comedy. I've listened to that shit on Spotify. That shit was kind of funny. I like his old uh, movies. It, it was humorous. It was humorous. Yeah, that's what I'm so you saying he ain't funny? You saying Bill Cosby ain't funny, Bobby? I didn't laugh the whole time, but I was like, man, that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so you understand what I'm saying? Do you, do you respect that? Do you respect that? Like when they don't make you laugh, but yeah, yeah I can. I, I, I can How that. though? I need so you, you can go to a comedy show and not laugh and be like, okay, that was a good one. Yeah. What? Hey, Doesn't make any sense though. Some, I mean, some stuff is gonna, ass. It's gonna make you analyze it more. Some stuff ain't gonna have you gut busting laughing. That's what I'm going for. I think a comedian is like the best hecklers, though. If anything, a comedian would be a good heckler. I would think oh. they were master cutters in high school. Like, they just knew how to get on your ass. Like, look at this nigga's shoes. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Oh, look, look, oh, fucked up ass socks. Like, you can't even see my socks. But they were just masters at just making you feel horrible about yourself. So the crowd prefers, or y'all prefer to go to a show and have people heckling? Or y'all want to, you know, usually it's a drunk person. Y'all so yeah, no. I prefer to go to a show and it be... Like when you go to a concert, it's just a full experience. Like, oh shit, she pulled out her titties. Not that I'm gonna suck them. I just seen that happen. Like, oh shit. Um, this guy was so oh, drunk. Fuck you. You want that? Do I want it? Uh, you want some titty slash at the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Titty slash. We were talking about it. We were talking about just the experience here. Not but please. no, no, no. I can see it from, it's like me getting up there and performing and the motherfucker being like, boo. Like, if, so you, if you're doing your song that you didn't craft it, you're like, man, I'm about to hit them and then somebody yell out some shit that kind of mess up you, your flow. You no, I, I understand. Song. No, no, I understand. But, what would but, you do? No, no, I want to ask, what would you do if that happened, Harvey, during no, the show? You going to throw, throw the mic at him? No, 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 no. <laughs> so, so, in my, it, with me coming up, like, like, I went through that. I went through be, being on stage and 10 people so it's easy to see who don't like me but I don't have a name and I know but they like oh no 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 luckily now let's just, I get paid so if I did see someone doing that I, jokes on you like you in here like you just <laughs> I wouldn't even care mm -hmm. but 
I've been through that as well, right. you know. But what if, have you ever had a joke? You say some shit, nobody say nothing, and like that was the punch sign, like yeah, and then da 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 all the time, and then nobody says shit. It happens. Amen. Nobody flips it. He flips that into. I've seen him flip that into something else. Oh, like some he'll say something about San Antonio or a place in San Antonio. And nobody laughing like, oh, I guess you motherfucking never think to be a mother or whatever. Okay, you got to have different directions. You can right. See, that's why it's an art. And that shit is really Oh, he'll say something like, oh, I guess I'm the only one that been to the Crappy River Walk or whatever. <laughs> what about the comedic groupies? Um, is there such a thing? man. Uh, is there such thing? Let me help you out. Is there, is there, is there such thing, thing, thing as, as comedic groupies? I wouldn't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> Uh, I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> he said, one, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> I don't know nothing. You said group? Uh, group? Is that a fish? A, group? a, a, group? a, group? a group? What are you are, about? are you asking, are there can, can we, uh, groupies? Or are you asking, you know, have like, Yes, are there? Yeah, are there? Yeah. A lot. Hmm. Like, what is this y'all asking questions y'all know the answer to. No, I don't, <laughs> man. I don't know the answer to that. Because, you know, you think of rock and roll stars and, 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 and so I would think that like when Debo get off stage, and there's some bitch right there, but like, oh, you was all funny. I want to just suck your dick. Uh, <laughs> before marriage, and when I used to go out of town, like that was my, I thought that was what it was all about. So that, I mean. That's what you get in the game for. Yeah, especially when you go out of town. I'm like, yeah, this is going to be lit. But uh, you got to be careful because they will set your ass Herpes up. will come back with your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they, they, the groupies will set So what you mean by set, yeah, set, set you, like what have you heard, what stories have you heard about setups when it comes to Ain't things no, like that? I, I've been set up. Heart. Oh, no, well, well, do tell. Do tell. I mean, you know, uh, let me just see who I watch. Don't get too in. Okay, yeah. I'll Somebody you. said, "What are your thoughts on Bernie Mac?" Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell Max. Oh yeah, we are gonna go through the. Uh, yeah, we get to the comments and shit. Uh, no, nah, I mean, basically, if it, it was a groupie that was just way too eager to come back to the room or whatever, and. Uh, you know, it turns out she had like two dudes with her, and once we found that out, you know, we knew what, what time it was. That's right. But um. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was like, I guess, a lesson. Like, you know, like, all right, it ain't really about the groupies. It's about... Well, how'd you know, how'd you know business. how'd you know about the guys? Like, the two dudes she had? I heard them in the background. I'm like, why did they have somebody? Oh, she was she was a horrible con artist. Yeah, horrible. Okay. I, was, I was, yeah, I was super close to getting set up. I already mm. That was good. That was dreaming. You never heard any stories about maybe some of your... What do you call a, a fellow comedian? What do you call them? Like, your... Uh, <laughs> my fellow comedian? Comedian yeah. brother in the comedy. Yeah, um... Comrade, <laughs> my, <laughs> my brother. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know. no. I mean, the professional term is colleague, but I don't know what y'all call it in comedy. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like a fraternity with the comedians, but yeah, we don't we don't really call them. Most Who's the sorriest comedian in San Antonio? <laughs> Who is the worst? Who is the worst? Who ain't Say his name. Worst. Say his name. <laughs> yeah, like you just want to text his phone with what you hope no. he look at it while you don't say shit. Well, first of all, it's already way too much beef in the comedy uh, game right now. Okay, right now. okay, look, look, look. Yeah, right now it's like at the all time high with like people yeah. hating on each and other. And we really and we're don't comedians. Promote. And yeah, as I say, we really don't. Why? Yeah, I think that's we, yeah, we, we, we really that don't. Is a funny question. It was exactly like comedy's beef. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like yeah. you tell you make people laugh for a living. Right. If but, you don't uh, cut it out. It's a it's a big you know it's a big ego thing. Mm -hmm. well, every every comedian jokes. really thinks that some comedians are delusional. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> like why why is he on stage? But right. um, like who? <laughs> I'm just like I'm just like a lot of chaos. Yeah, in San Antonio. You know? Yeah, AC no. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do what AC? What you do? Ooh, huh? What's About what? what? Say it again. What happened? AC no. AC. You know who be talking shit? Like crazy Ooh. Debo, like a motherfucker. Debo, Debo be, funny as fuck. He is though. But he be talking he be talking shit. Comedy, yes. Yes. Like, I like it though. Yeah, that's, I mean that helps him, you know. He he can he'll, Debo, he'll start beef and it, it kinda helps promote him because yes. well I don't know really about about the beef, right? I don't keep up with I it. I mean there was a lot of major comedian beefs too still, you know, uh um was it Pimp Mighty Pimp who um, what, what was his name? Cat Williams was beefing with Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish for a long time. Monique was beefing with everybody. Yeah. Um, so you got a lot of those major guys doing this. I don't know why. I just think there's a lot of money to go around in the game. But right. who, well, are you, who, do you, who are you watching? Like, are you watching comedy? Like, comedy? Who am I watching? Uh, I'm, I still watch like Dion Cole. Mm -hmm. he he's funny. Dion Cole. He's funny. Dion he's funny. He's playing on He's funny, but I'm mm -hmm. tired That nigga not the, funny. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's not funny. Pull out the pad and be like, not, not his stand up. He's come. He's funny like, in movies and stuff. But yeah, that's what. 
he's not hilarious to me. He, okay. He's funny. Man, I can't believe y'all don't like Deion Cole. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm out watching, but he's, yeah, he's, he's not hilarious. Oh. I like I like hilarious. Like, what mm-hmm. like, like when he come to San Antonio, okay, I, I have to be an entertainer is funny oh, as fuck. He is. Right. He's funny as yeah. shit. So I think that's the problem. Like, we're talking about San Antonio, uh, black comedians don't get um, promoted right in San Antonio. Because mm-hmm. I, I feel like our standards are way too high. What's my standard? Like, you you talking about Deion Cole ain't funny. Funny what is funny. You, would, you wouldn't pay this to Deion Cole. If Deion Cole came down, would I... Like, in San Antonio, you got... All right, compare it. Let me ask you this. Okay, so when you're asking me this, it's not, it has nothing, it has something to do with me and my lady going out. We about to dress up, suit and boot. Yeah, we going out. Okay. Yeah. I'm but, saying San Antonio, you got to be, like, huge. No. Yes, 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 yes you do. Okay, but that's well, true. Well, okay, so let me say this. For someone that... that well, yeah, that's San Antonio. And, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and someone that, that just loves the art, right? You've seen me at your comedy show. Right. And it wasn't no headliner. It wasn't like I've been the numerous like no. So it's not. So it's just the love and the art. So fuck. I'm sure it's like that for people. For me, yeah. no. Right. For me, Dion Cole is he funny? Okay, do this. Is he funnier to you than JJ? No. So it's, it's a standard high. Like funny is funny. But he's a way bigger name than JJ. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so so that should tell you that the but not hiding. He, I but pay he, money he, for JJ. But if you bought okay. Dion Code, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be a little so. So you said he got a bigger name. So is the standard high because you'll bring a bigger name and I'd be a little iffy. Oh, he want commercial. And you bring a lower name and I'd be like, oh hell yeah! Like as soon as you okay. land, we sell it. Sell yeah, he was old spice commercial. So you get a lot Dion Code joke other than when that nigga pull a pad out and say some joke and then scratch it off and go like that, like like he just wrote it down. That's hilarious. That's funny as fuck. But when you see it like thirty times, that's funny as fuck. But he been doing that shit since like. The fucking common view on BET coming at you. He been doing that shit since then. So it's just like, oh, I think it's 2021. What, what, what did you think about uh, Gary Owens? And 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 did, Gary you, did you see? It? Wait, wait, did you see it coming with with him and his wife? Did you see that coming? Not at all. No. I didn't see it coming yeah, either. Is he either. funny? Gary Owens is funny. Um, he I don't like him as a, you know. He's one of them people. I talk about this a lot, but off stage, he's like one of the biggest dickheads. You know. You know what's crazy? Someone told me that he was cheating on his wife before it even came out. That's so funny. And then, like, a week later, that shit came out. It was like, what in the world? But he actually came out and said, and I don't know shit. I mean, I'm not into motherfucking scandals. And if I see that shit, I really just scroll past it because I'm not interested in even, I don't care. Right? That's between you. But he did. I think he was on, like, Ellen DeGeneres or some shit. I forgot who he was on. No, he was on Wendy. Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. But this is after everything. And he said that he wasn't wasn't cheating. Does that make you lose... Support for him that he, you know, cheated. Hell no, no, women. no. Okay. <laughs> white black men don't cheat, not white men. So uh, <laughs> yeah, we never said shit about white men. <laughs> Did you hear us say white men don't cheat? <laughs> <laughs> we, don't that shit. we said black men don't cheat. Yeah. Oh shit! What, you thought, what was your thoughts on Bernie Mac? Uh, one of the greatest of all time. He, Hilarious. I was upset. I feel like he's on. You know, people always consider him one of the best, but he never had his own comedy special. He didn't. Like, I feel like you gotta have a kind. It's like Biggie being the best without an album. I feel mm. like, but he had it, and this is just me. Don't know shit. I love comedy. I think that okay, comedy special. That's cool. But I think all y'all, you're part of that that, that circle. Of course, you want a comedy special, but even bigger than that, it's like once you get your own show, TV show, now, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, okay, I don't have a comedy special, but okay. I got my own show. Think, look at all the okay. big ones. Now you make got their own point. show, and it's like that's a, that that surpasses a comedy a special? special. When you you get what I'm saying? Like, well, it just depends. Point. Well, and if it's syndicated, I believe this show is syndicated like that. Um, they made a new Bernie sure. Mac show in fucking years, and so you, you feel still like he, turn he, on he, the TV. He leaped you know over. Well, we're talking about a stand-up comedian, though. Hmm. I mean, and, and he he passed away too early. You know, he would have had a comedy special. I'm sure. I'm pretty right. Mm-hmm. He was getting old too. He was gonna say. Was, I mean, he had been in the game for a long time. Yeah. Especially in this day and age, we got the verses and all the internet. Yeah. The can can you do a versus with comedians? You think we were talking about that mm-hmm. the other day? Uh, yeah. And, we're talking about and how would it work? How would it, in your opinion? How would it work? It would, joke for joke. Yeah, joke. <laughs> the only way it could work is joke for joke. Uh, New jokes or old jokes? What anything? Mm. You think you can do it with old jokes? They doing verses with old old music. Yeah, but that's, I don't know. We we knew the punchline already. Oh, would it would it be interesting? You right. Can you redo jokes in comedy? Unless you're on tour. What do you mean? You said, can you redo jokes? Unless it's before Unless the time. Unless you're on tour. Like, if you're going on a three-city tour, or I mean a, a ten-city tour, I wouldn't expect you to write ten different jokes. That's crazy. I would expect you to write a set of your set and perform for that time because you're going on a tour, right? But then I, if I see you six years later, 
or mm-hmm. ten years later, and exact not something that whole set you're still doing is like like if I could mimic your whole set, would anybody say that? For well, verses, right. you yeah, you can do old jokes. Oh no, yeah, I agree. I but agree. it would have to be set set up something like the what is it, the ninety five soft boys? Eighty five, eighty five. Yeah, it'd have to be set up something like that. They just do strictly ad lib and whatever. Mm-hmm. But like your top of the line comedians just coming in head to head, they're gonna have to regurgitate some of their stuff. But that would be whack, I think. Mm-hmm. Like you said, because mm-hmm. music is you know everyone gets to groove in the right. time that you don't have people sitting on the edge of the seat. M- music so. is a feeling, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Rather than comedy, I don't know com- comedy per se is a feeling. Yeah. What'd you say? A whole new 30 yeah. minutes for this nigga. Yeah. So, sh- sh- as a comedian, should you have how many sets should you have in your head? Like, as a comedian, should you have like five different sets? Three, no two, yeah. you know what I mean? We said a set, like sets, a, like, yeah. Like a 20 minute set, a 30 minute set, obviously. Like, how many different sets should you have? Just so you don't have to worry I about things like you really said. I answer that because it just depends on the comedian. What about you? How many sets do you have? Uh, in my head, I got maybe like. Four sets. I got a set for like, all right, all these white people. We're gonna do the, mm. we're gonna do the white stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, stuff that white people are gonna relate to. And I got, you know, my more comfortable set, black people. Like, all right, I can be myself. And, you know, there's gonna be a lot more improv because I'm, I'm with family. Right. And I got, oh, it's church folks. All right, so they're gonna get a clean, you know, depending if they black or white. Right. And then, uh, you know, I got like a super squeaky clean. I don't wanna say corny, but it's gonna be, a, you know, corporate set that, all right, I'm gonna get my big check, but, yeah. you know, they not going to offend nobody. Yeah, they're not going to offend anybody. It's going to be a, a safe set. Yeah. Are you aiming to do... Um, I always thought that's what... When I see all the other comedians, even Kevin Hart and everybody, they, they, they're going for the big screen. Or is that something? Are you just doing comedy? Are you doing it to stay on the stage? Or are you trying um, to potentially get into... Crossover. You know, sitcoms and oh, okay. things of that nature. Um, not. I mean, back in the day, I was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I still got uh, aspirations to write skits and... Uh, you know, maybe do a movie one day for San Antonio. Right, right. But, um, yeah, I think I kind of passed the, you know, going the route of trying to be like a big comedian. Hmm. I think they said that, and I can even say, Morgan Freeman got his start at like 40 or some shit like that. Uh, Sam, uh, Samuel well, Jackson, for sure, too. Oh, Samuel Jackson could be one of He was old. Oh, Samuel Jackson was old. Morgan Freeman was 40 when he was born. <laughs> <laughs> So he would have had to be ninety yeah. when he got his goddamn break. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm more just gonna be like the like the host at the new comedy club. You know, I'm I'm not really trying to do big big comedy things. And right. Mm. The comedy in the comedy club is it like opening acts? Get like is it like how do you do? Do you do comedy clubs the same way you do like hip hop clubs? Like can someone be like, hey, can I come perform? Or like how do you do a comedy? Uh, well, comedy clubs, we, we have open mics, we have showcases, so you get opportunities to, you know, show what you can do, and then right. you move up the ladder. Mm-hmm. It'd be like a, like a main headliner. Right. When, yeah. when was the last time you've been impressed by a comedian, local or celebrity? Man, and what that, did they do? Let me see what your AC. definition that's, of funny. That's a good question. <laughs> you, you're getting good at this. <laughs> uh, yo, me, I was at an open mic, more just scouting, and uh, I watched Clay. Big Clay. Clay A? Like the one from 85 South Show? No. Who's Clay? Clay? Uh, recently passed away. Oh, bright skinned dude, huh? Yeah, I had never really, like, you know, because he usually, like, is like a bouncer or whatever. I never watched him do stand up. And, uh, man, he killed it at an open mic. And, uh, you know, he's this big dude that's intimidating, but, like, his set made you, like, not look at him like that. So, um, yeah, Big Clay. Hmm. But uh, you know, RIP. Did, did you ever meet? Well, hmm. I, I, I didn't meet him either. I, 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 I seen every, I seen everybody sharing like okay, RIP. You know, he was funny, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a, like, he's one of underrated things. Oh yeah, I, my opinion. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. I like we just we just hard critics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you know comedy. I think you you're, you're kind of tough, but I think you know comedy. Hmm. I love stand up comedy, actually. Yeah. You know, and it's not knowing; it's just. Um, like, I know, I know, just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it's not funny. I know what mm-hmm. I like. Right. Like, Com- what comedy saying? is subjective. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know what I like. Like, for instance, like I said, I love Bernie Mac. And, and everyone that I named, you can kind of see that they have similar, like, okay, he likes, you yeah. know, J.J. Uh, Williamson and, and things of that nature. Corey, we even went Corey Holcomb. And, and then when you name Beyond Cole, it's like, man, he's not. So it could be possibly be that. You the type of uh, if I was performing, I wouldn't want you anywhere in the front row because uh, Oh he roasting, he roasting you. No, no, no. No, I'm not, no, 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 not saying because I'm not, I'm first of all talking about he roasting you, that's what I said. Because uh, no, no, no. I've seen you at one of my shows. Yeah, I've been to a couple of your shows actually. But uh, yeah, you definitely seen me at one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to a couple of your shows. <laughs>
But I'm gonna be looking at you like, damn, he ain't laughing the way I want him to. Mm -hmm. Even though you might think it's funny, like it, it takes a lot for you to be busting out laughing. Mm -hmm. So it would, it would kind of mess up my focus on stage. No, you know, and I actually want to try not try stand up, but I, when I be watching, like I've seen every deaf comedy, like literally all of them. Like yeah. when I be watching it, I guess even when you're watching football, you kind of throw yourself in there and be like, oh, I wish you know, yeah. I, I would say this joke like that. Is it is, is it timing meets perfect? Like how is it? Do you sit there and just write jokes and you just know it's gonna be funny? Now, how do you know what's what? What's hmm, how you set it up? Huh? Yeah, like how do you know like all of a sudden this is gonna be funny? You don't know. So you just go out there and do it, and if it works, it works. Yep. Um, like you know, I, I'll write a uh, like a funny Facebook post and get like a million likes, right. and then go out and try to perform that same joke on stage, and that shit never works. Hmm. So it just depends. You just gotta. Gotta so, so how, with that being said, how do you push through bombing for you? Like, how do you do it? Um, well, I don't do it a lot. So I've been doing it long <laughs> enough to where uh, right. I feel like I don't bomb. Like, I know how to, you know, get... Talk uh, your shit then. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, um, you know, how do you push through it? You just got to... You know, it's like getting knocked out. You got to come back. I'm going to tell you I'm gonna tell you how I met Bobby, okay? I met Bobby in River Center Mall, okay? So, I come in there... I come in there just because it was open mic this day, and they did it kind of up front. And I'll come in there, and Bobby's on stage, and Bobby goes, is that big boy back there? <laughs> Everybody's turning around looking at me. I'm all embarrassed. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm getting up out of here. I got that. <laughs> you remember that, Bobby? Uh, Probably not. I remember you being in the mall, but I don't remember calling you big yes, boy. Yes, 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 indeed. <laughs> like big boy over making, there. Making up I know. For, I'm so serious. This is what happened. I believe, I believe that happened. Yes, man. But um, Bobby's gonna host a uh, at the at the lounge. He's gonna host a uh, a comic writing. What do you call it? Oh yeah, we're gonna do a comedy workshop. A comedy workshop. Mm. So, uh, and it's funny I asked that question because yesterday we were over there working on the club and uh, we were talking about a particular comedian. How when she bombed, she didn't know what to do. And I was telling Bobby, well, you're good at that. Well, not that he bombs, but like he knows how to work through it and make it work for him instead of just like she was like off. You could tell she was phased and didn't know what else to do. And so she just ended her set. We were talking about that today, but um, does that hurt your feelings when you see things like that? I don't that hurt my feelings. <laughs> that, uh, I mean, it would, it would, it would. I'm like, damn, for bad. I mean, I feel sorry for her because we had a good crowd that night. Calls it cringe. Yeah. yeah, like looking at it, it's like Ugh. I don't know if it's like this when you perform, but like I'm not with, I'm not where the crowd is in my head. I'm like ten minutes ahead, like yeah. you know, what I'm you thinking mean? about like, oh shit, you know, different things. So you moving stuff around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, I focus on like the like just to stay out the crowd's way. I just focus on the camera. Okay. Like for it's because that's what you're gonna see. Like, Yo, if y'all have any questions for him and for no, these young men, y'all need to leave these questions so uh, tell DC him. Young Flog, fuck, heart. I don't know. Who, what do y'all think about DC? Uh, he hates DC. I think really? Why? He I think he DC's hilarious. It may be hilarious though, man. Come on. Not hean. hilarious, bro. What are we uh, considering? Funny? So he slaps stick or what? I think so. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, well, not me. I mean, because he's very, he's very dramatic. Like he's yeah. very over he the is top. Slapstick. I mean, and to be uh, fair, I haven't seen a full show one of his stand up shows. I've just seen that eighty five no well, I've never seen. I don't think he does stand up. I think the way because I'm, I'm with him. Like Country Wayne, like Facebook famous. Then he went he on a funny. tour he's and he's I don't not think... funny. Country Wayne. Country Wayne is funny. He tells not funny stand story. up. He got a funny voice. Funny. He with can say clips. it. He can say. I agree anything. with everything, brother Sam. Country <laughs> <laughs> Wayne can say anything and make it funny just because he's Country Wayne. Mm. What? No, I see, I've seen his stand up. It's I've funny. seen it. It wasn't funny it was to me. Not but... funny. It was funny. Yo, Which one did you see? Wait, I guess mm. uh, he had on like I guess not a suit. He was telling that, that whack ass story about his uncle. He was sitting there. Sit on <laughs> Country on, 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 Wayne be yeah, going yeah, down right <laughs> here. He's not funny. Uh, but but when you do his yeah, clips, like when he be doing those clips on Instagram and, and Facebook, Facebook, yeah, yeah, yeah. funny again. Okay. Cause he, cause he's he's, he's he's like you know he has he's in places like doing a story like a movie or something but right. just telling it on the yeah. ambiance and the scenery right. and goes in with what he said but when he on stage was doing like that, he did this one skit where he bought the white girl to the barbecue choice. that was funny as hell oh she had the raisins oh, in there yeah, yeah that yeah. was so uh, funny yeah. see that thing. he opened it up he had a shoe he's like oh what yeah. is this <laughs> yeah that was hilarious <laughs> now imagine him trying to tell that but story. he can't yeah. he can't tell that he can't tell yeah he can't do it yeah we gotta look at your phone we gotta yeah my phone died that's crazy we still don't worry. We still on that. We just we use these for the comments so we can see comments. But mm, but I don't know if all these are all. Uh, oh look, we can still see it. But he not I'm hilarious. He just you. funny on doing those. And I think that that's Skits. where. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we in the day and age is just like, for instance, with your art. 
you actually do this, you've actually put the time in, the, the patience. Mm -hmm. you know, How long you been doing comedy, years, Bobby? Bobby? About 18, 19 years. Now, okay. This. So take a motherfucker. Remy Ma said it best. Remy Ma, she did an interview, and she was like, I hate when I'm watching uh, these new rappers, and in the interview, they be like, how long you been rapping? They be like, six months. She be like, oh my God, I be fucking wanting to throw the phone. You know how long it took me to get to where I want? So I say that to say, you actually being someone that's funny, stand up, know what you're doing. These people are funny on the internet as far as doing, doing stand up, I mean, as far as doing uh, little clips and shit. Yeah. And then be able to just get that name and then do stand up and actually not be funny. Like, mm -hmm. uh, does that, does that hurt like you a little that. bit? Like, what is that shit? Uh, for some of them, but when you say Country Wayne, you say DC not Young Fly, you say Jesse I've never seen DC Young Fly stand up, so let me say Those that. are exceptions. Like, they're, they're like just naturally talented people. Like, they could probably do anything and be successful. You don't think Jess Hilarious is funny? Fuck no! Jess Hilarious? Jess Hilarious? I ain't never seen her stand up either, no. though. But I oh, no, Jess Hilarious. Yeah, I'm talking about, uh, what's the other lady's name? Mm -hmm. Lisa Moon? Nope. Jess Hilarious is funny. The other girl. Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish, that's one. You don't think Tiffany Haddish is funny? No. But I'm not hmm, bad about Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish ain't that funny. You don't think she's funny either? Not stand up in movies. She's yeah, hilarious. movies she's hilarious. Her stand up is uh not that funny. Like somebody that's funny on camera and like a stand up, like it'll be like Monique. Monique funny. Yes. Yeah. Off camera, like stand up and the movies. I like, guess the same Bernie Mac. That's the same. It's like what about Wanda? What about Wanda Sykes? She's not funny. <laughs> she's you don't not, think she's, she's funny? hilarious in stand up? Wanda Sykes. I think she's funny. better in stand up than she is in movies and movies and TV. I've watched that's, a lot of Wanda. That's, 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 that's the only way you can say that. You haven't watched Wanda Sykes. I've wa that's what I'm saying. I've watched Wanda okay. Sykes. You don't think she's funny? I don't think she's funny. Not but a, but I, hard I, I critic. Wanda but Wanda Sykes one of those kind of like deal. You kind of kind of be up on topics to understand her. I know. Miss Pat is funny. Miss Pat. Pat. Miss Pat. Pat. Pat, yes. Miss Pat is funny. She had, uh, she had a rough life. That woman had oh, yeah. a super, man. Yeah, super rough life. Hey, is that the one? Does, does she got a, uh, a show coming yeah, out? Yes. 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 I already watched it. Did you? Yeah, watched yeah. It. <laughs> it is hilarious. Um, it's just not a lot of fe uh, funny female comedians. What about in San Antonio? I don't see, I only see like Tony. one. It's, it's hard to find female comedians to book. She ain't really a comedian. She one of them, uh, Who? like an internet. Facebook? Yeah. And what was it's it, like Chona E? Girl. Yeah, who? She's, but she's popular in San Antonio. Who? Who we talking about? Her name is Chona E. You could look up. She Chona. had a big following in yeah. San Antonio, um, like like a million. She's trying to translate to stand up. What's one of the? It was one of the queens of comedy. She was up there. She got the big lips. Fucking uh, oh Adele. She funny as fuck. Yes, yeah, she and is. And Samoa is funny. Some more funny. Mm -hmm. um, some more funny, but some more more nasty than funny. I and mean, what, who was the second yeah. girlfriend in Next Friday? Um. Oh yeah, she funny as fuck. Next Friday. Yeah, yeah the second the girlfriend. Uh. I just the uncle, the uncle, the uncle, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I literally just watched her today on Reno 911. It wasn't Sugar. He, he no, you serious. talking about? Oh, you talking sugar. about the big? No, he talking about big booty? Uh, you, that, you know, that's not the not same Missy person. Nash, no, no, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know her name. I know you talking about yeah. Kim Whitley. I think. Yeah, that was the first one. That was the first one. The first girlfriend. I'm talking about the in the Friday after next movie. When he was smoking weed, when they got him all passed out and shit. Oh, Lunell is funny. Lunell is funny. I like. I like Lunell. Right, but see, she nigga. Oh, that is Samoa. It it's that's Samoa who I'm talking about. And next Samoa? Friday after next, yeah. Samoa and Friday after next. Yeah, she's remember in the barbecue in the barbecue place, and she was. Oh, we talking about the third girlfriend. I'm talking about the third one. Uh, they moved into the house. It's a comedian. Yeah, Samoa. Yeah, Samoa. Samoa in that? Yes. Samoa, y'all know Samoa. It's Samoa next Samoa. Friday, y'all. I know, but she's in Friday after next. A oh, one other. It's not you know, a trap. Yeah, it was Friday. It was um. Yeah, it was Friday after yeah, next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was it. No, it's next, next Friday, Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. Friday after next is the lady that I'm talking about. Okay. She's funny as fuck. Well. Hmm. But yeah, is there anybody? Is there anybody that you that you look at and while you're watching them, you I guess you would do it anyway. But you take like you you go. That's your go to. Like when you need some experience or you want you need your mind. Like you know, let me go watch a little bit of this and get my mind working. Uh, I like to watch Tony Rock a lot. I feel like he. You know, you don't like Tony Rock. Tony Rock. Let me say this. I like Tony Rock. He actually to me is funnier than Chris Rock. Okay. Oh, uh, no, because he more nigga funny to me. Exactly. He more of a nigga he, he to relates, me. He so you know that me. I know what I'm talking. Like he's yeah. more of a nigga to me. Chris Rock is more. Don't say coonish. No hell no. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I like Chris Rock. Okay. But he more he getting his money. He not about he's getting his money. Like Kevin Hart. He way funnier than Kevin Hart. I'm just saying Kevin he's Hart. Not even on the same. Kevin Hart. You, you know Kevin Hart used to be funny, but right. he got a bigger audience now, so he has to appeal to the right black folks and the, you know funny international is, folks. He might funny is funny. Chris Rock's still hilarious. Are you not are you gonna funny. let are you gonna let the crowd dictate your comedy? Right. Mm. With the checks is bigger, probably. <laughs> right. 
Uh, two commas in there? I, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I live in San Antonio. Don't worry so about it. <laughs> what do you think the majority crowds are? Hispanic. So a lot of us black comedians have to cater to his, Hispanic crowd. We have every black comedian is gonna have a lot of Mexican jokes because that's where we at. When you say so cater to them, what does that mean? Because funny is funny. They got George Lopez, which I think it's, whether he's Mexican or black any color is hilarious. Yeah, George Lopez is funny as fuck. So what, when you say cater to them, what do you yes. kind of tell jokes about guacamole or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying like when we say cater, because funny is funny. You just gotta have something where they gonna relate to. You know, I got. You know, I got black people do this, white people do this. I have to throw in Mexicans do this. Hmm. Who said that they get pregnant oh, quick, like the motherfuckers just looking at them? Who said, who said oh, that? Uh, yeah, it was Bebo. <laughs> Jeremy Bond, Jeremy <laughs> Bond do a lot of Mexican. Every uh, most comics are gonna have some Mexican mm -hmm. stuff, just because that's where we at. So yeah. we're trying to get the biggest laughs, and we got mostly Mexicans in the audience. Then you know we want the biggest laughs. So, mm -hmm. so whose idea was this comedy club? Man, that's a great question. We uh, kind of like both of ours, right? Yeah, I mean, we didn't even tell you how we met. Like, I, I was teaching defensive driving, and he was in the class. And um, oh yeah, too many tickets. <laughs> <laughs> they want to revoke his license. Right. My man, help me out. <laughs> he, uh, but yeah, he had a ticket, and um, he uh, told me, you know, he did the DJ. He was a DJ, and uh, well, what it was at his class, you gotta go up to his class. At just in the class, he'd be like, anybody got any talent? Then you're like, everybody get up and sing. He's like, anybody got any? I have my iPad with me. I turn some music on. Some girls start singing. Some girls start rapping. Oh, man, I forgot about that. Yeah, and... Uh, so anybody start stripping? And, he's, <laughs> they, and he, he was like, this That's is... That's a talent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we fall, forgot about while we were there. We just started having a little party. Then at the end, I was like, man, if you ever do a show, you know, I'm a DJ, then... Ever since then, I've been everyone every show with him. Then we was like, we tired of giving money to other people. Let's start open our own. And we were, we talked about it for a while, like like in the back of head, like it was never going to happen. Like you know, how you th think about some shit and you be like, we ain't gonna never do that shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then one day, I don't know even how we even started the process. We just like let's do this. It was after the or during the pandemic, probably. Did we come up with the idea during the pandemic? Well, we were throwing names around. Yeah, I think it was during the pandemic, but we were doing these these freelancers around the city. Um, and uh, we decided that, you know, we're tired of giving our money to other people. We're doing all the hard work oh, and making I all think the what happened, something happened to we got, we was doing like a show at like a, like a bar and we kind of got fucked over. Yeah. For the last time, it was like, all right, we ain't doing this no more. We, uh, we're going to just open our own spot, get our own liquor license and all that. And that's pretty much how that happened. So yeah. something triggered it. And how, how, it supposed to open, is it? Uh, Labor Day, Labor Day weekend, mm -hmm. September third. How many people can you fit in there at the most? It's <laughs> a good question. Uh, we're Ten thousand. Uh, no. <laughs> come, come on. Depends on how we have it set up as far as tables or just all chairs, but uh, we could probably get three hundred in. Uh, oh, that's, that's really? At the most, that's good. Yeah, that's that's after pandemic. Uh, during pandemic, we talked probably about one fifty. Yeah. There is no, there is no after pandemic though. Like, there's no more of that. Like, it's, oh, it's, it's just after pandemic. Corona, yeah? It's yeah, straight pandemic from here know, on out. It's, it's funny y'all say that. Uh, we were actually having that conversation today. We, we, you know, I know the the governor said no mask and all that stuff, but we still want to promote, you know, safe social distancing mask and all that. In his ass, in his ass caught. Did y'all find it funny? Did y'all find it funny that the governor caught Corona? I thought she was a liar uh, in the mother. <laughs> somebody gotta make a joke for that. Somebody gotta do it. Fuck him, ain't it Ted? What's his name? Abbott. Abbott. Greg, Greg, Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott, yeah. 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 Fuck Greg. I, I want to ask you something, Bobby. Uh, being that you're married to a model, is it irritating and nerve-wrecking when y'all go out and things like that? Uh, I don't know about irritating, but definitely nerve-wrecking. Uh, no, nah, I feel like uh, you know, we, we're kind of a, a power couple, you know? Mm-hmm. They kind of... I don't know, we feed off each other, so it's more the opposite. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I mean, you see a man over there talking to her, like, he's like... God damn! Uh, I'm not an insecure dude. You know? Okay, so, okay. Uh, you know, I used to be ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, and then she have all her little model friends, and it's like, AC girl, don't, don't look at like her. No, no, don't you be like that? this girl dressed like a muslim. Put that little thing on. Don't be doing this. What happened with Adina Howard? Oh man, so did you see that? Yeah, man. First of all, here we go. Why he trying to take? Anyway. She was, she, she was flirting with you. No. It's footage. He no. Said that she, was, all right. she was flirting with me. Anyway. Second, after, after it's footage anyway. of her, bro. I look better than him, so it don't matter. Oh, it's man, obvious. She was talking to me. Oh, she's beautiful. She, okay, she's still. Oh, my God. Okay. 
<laughs> she, yeah, she's still fine, for real, for she's real. Fine. And then she's going to say, I can have both of y'all. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Man, she, she really yeah, I seen her on that faster <laughs> mic, man. She, she looked pretty good. My phone was on. She was playing with that. All that really? right there. Not... Mm-hmm. I almost smelled it. Like, <laughs> my bad. My fault. My fault. She was oh. her head out like this, right? When she was saying it, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to lick her finger. Never thought I was doing too much. She really a freak in the morning, freaking. Oh, you should have seen on stage in the window. And she tried to say it was for him, but it was not. Mm. After she flirted He's me, delirious. pointed yeah. to me, mm. all this, she just gave me so much. And then Ace come up cock blocking like he uh, I'm here by myself. She gave me all her attention. Ace that's the real right there. Ace want to walk up by me like, bro, stand over at the end of the day. Because she wasn't even looking at that end. She been fucking with him. I'm right here by myself. Me and Adina having our own intimate time, like we should. <laughs> like we should. He gonna ask you, "Cock blocking ass on me?" Thirty fucking feet away. Do 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 do. I just did. Fuck you all. Wow. So Adina Howard gonna break up your fight. What up, Cliff? She gonna break. She gonna break. She gonna break up the podcast. We ain't gonna live past that yet. Why y'all stop? Because of Adina Howard. I'm telling you the story. <laughs> no, it was a great interview. We um, y'all interviewed? Yeah. Interviewed God y'all dang, Bobby. Ah, Bobby don't fuck with us, y'all. He don't, he don't fuck with us. us. Y'all, I didn't even know y'all dropped it. Yes. If he would have said it, you wouldn't know who she fucked. I was with. like, you didn't interview nobody from that show. Ah, uh, yes, we did. We did. We yes. Mm-hmm. Or RL, that's our partner. Man, was RL was dope. He was yeah, dope he was as dope. hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did y'all see uh, Shannon Sharp uh, shared this uh, video today, right? So this white lady is talking, she's t- she's arguing with this black dude, and she ends up smacking him, right? Oh, yeah. And the black dude almost hit her, but he stops. Now, the husband, <laughs> he, he, he ended up uh, fighting with the husband, and she comes jumping in, and then, bam, he hits her too. But anyway, what would you do if your woman started some shit like that? Both of y'all. I don't know if you if you married or got a girl or not. Yeah, I'm married. Uh, okay, so what would y'all do if y'all woman started some shit and then y'all got y'all ass whooped? You know what I'm saying? The son of a motherfucker got some shit. Y'all gotta beat your goddamn ass. <laughs> <laughs> Over half of them. <laughs> <laughs> Over half of them. <laughs> what, would, what would you do? I'll let you answer this. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good question, man. I may bitch up. No, I'm joking. <laughs> No, it's clearly her fault. <laughs> clearly, I mean, clearly, she's arguing with the man, and next thing you know, she slaps the hell out of the black dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you might have to take that L. <laughs> so, so, what do you mean? If you're the husband, or or, or what do you mean? Can't be wrong with a girlfriend. Like you know, if she's you know got beef with somebody, you got beef with that person yeah. too. So mm-hmm. you might have to take that L if you. I mean, unless you gonna whoop their ass. I I always say that. Uh, like, if my girl in here disrespecting you, right, give me a chance to correct her. Don't say okay. she's a female. So females, just like, because we compare. But what's she slap them, though? That's hold, no, on, hold on, hold okay. on, let me get to that. We compare, not saying females are lower than anything, but if he's sitting over there whining, what you going to say he's whining? Like, bro, you acting like a little girl, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? If he, okay. if he complaining about his phone being dead and he just keep talking about his phone, I'm like, bro, bro, why are you talking about a little girl about your phone, bro? Mm-hmm. So you get what I'm saying? Expect her to act like a little girl. You okay. know what I'm saying? So if a man is sitting there to me, handling it, then don't say nothing to her. She fussing, doing all that. Now, if she put her hands on it, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Try that. to give me a chance to correct her. Oh, hell no. You nah. say, hold up, hear me out. Because me, I believe, because if it's on the other foot, I'm about to slap you in. <laughs> like, oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. And I got sisters, like, we just jump you. Mm-hmm. And we jump, but I'm not just going, I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to try to check a man first. But I do believe in letting the, trying to let the man handle it, because this is. So, so even if you get slapped, you believe. No, nah, hell no. Nah. She slapped me and you and you allow her to slap me. Yeah, bro. just to show you that it's real, I'm probably gonna slap her first just to make it. <laughs> now you got. You gonna go from the you, you gonna go from the ground up or what you gonna do? <laughs> oh, no. That's just <laughs> because, because I would I would hope that it wouldn't get that way. I would hope that it wouldn't I wouldn't it wouldn't get that far to where I gotta do that. Yeah. But if it did, it's just like damn. Now I gotta. I mean, I, I would really have to be in a situation to really know. Right, exactly, to really <laughs> know. Because it's easy to be like, oh, I'm going to be in ass. Hey, I like, like this like, question. Man. I can answer that. What is Upstage Comedy Lounge's mission statement? Yeah, that's a oh, good that's, question. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, Damn. that's very professional. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was a cliff question. Uh, university. I knew that was a cliff question. What's your um, mission statement? My mission statement is to bring comedy to the city that no other comedy club is going to do. We're going to bring comedians and entertainment not just comedy that you probably wouldn't get at LOL or the defunct, uh, what's the damn place downtown called? Jokes this? No, no, the other one, the downtown Riverwalk. 
No, no. Uh, the river walking. That one ain't there no more. That's what I said. I said defunct. Oh, Laugh out loud. Oh, river Center Comedy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that you're not going to get there. Um, so, yeah, that's something that's the same. Do, do something a little different. Um, give a different perspective. Get a different type of audience. Mm. That's, what, that's what we're trying to do. That's what. Be consistent um, with the talent. Right. You know, we want, we want funny shows. Do you, do you feel you're going to have to bring down stars to make this work? Because, to be honest, like we spoke on earlier, they're, no one's going to respect the locals. They're not going to. So? No, I don't. I mean, so. I don't think we'll. We have it. great locals, and I disagree. Bro. I don't think no one's going to respect it. You think that I'm the only person that think I'm going to be there? Like I love, like, like I said, like he, I, before you even said, oh, he going to be up there, beast Like I'm like, oh, I've been to a couple of his shows. I've been to a lot of beast shows. You get what I'm saying? So it's not. It's definitely 300 people, and they going for comedy. People are always going to this. Just like I don't know shit. This is what I think. People always go to a hip hop show. Imagine if they were opening up a jazz restaurant or something like that. Like, this is something that we don't have here. So off top, like to me, it's like, oh hell yeah, I'm going, bro. Especially a real like a comedy. Mm -hmm. like, man, well, so, so we want we'll bring the national acts, but we'll put like local acts to feature and to open, and that way they can build a following too. Then when we book the locals, they'll have more of a following. But yeah, we gotta do we gotta do a little both. Cause you you know to in order to make money you have to have some national acts. I mean, but it sucks because it's it's some top talent in Houston, some top talent in Dallas that mm -hmm. are just as good as these national acts. So mm -hmm. I, I really want to bring them people, but you know San Antonio got to come out. Well, Cliff, you're right. I did have a, a comedy show, but I but I felt like I needed Dwayne Finley in order to bring the people out. Like Psych, I got you, and now you're gonna watch these comedians now. You know what I'm saying? Like I felt like I needed him. You did. Yeah, you used his face. I used his face, I but I wanted I want to get the local talent recognized. You know what I'm saying? I know, but I think that we did it would have still did what we did without the money family. But that's just you know. You, you uh, know I, I I I, I think it still would have been great, but I don't think the people would have came like they did if they if I didn't have his if we didn't have his face. Cause the talent, the talent that we had, you know what I'm saying. You know, Bobby bailed out on us. <laughs> but uh, the talent that we had, man, was definitely top tier. Yeah, yeah, I believe I believe the comedians that we had exactly. could, could hold it down. So funny, they could hold it down on their own. But, but without him, it was, mm -hmm. it was not like he went up there and told jokes and he was just absolutely funny. Yeah, he showed. Yeah, I don't think he was. I don't. I kind of. That's what I'm saying. He wasn't funny. <laughs> he wasn't. Like, like he came like the the show was because of the comedians that we had. Yes. Oh, for sure. Our shit. It you was epic. Saying? It was epic because of the comedians. That's for sure. But I really believe Dwayne brought them out. No, I people, think that we promoted it correctly. Okay, that, that too. Uh, All right, let me give myself, let's give us some credit then. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he signed autographs, he did meet and greets. And he all did, that yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. that, that's probably a, a big I think that's. I think that's hella important. If, if y'all gonna bring, if anybody's gonna bring anybody down, you gotta let them, they gotta meet the people. It needs to be yeah. mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that makes the best out of everything yeah. to me. Yeah. No, I agree. Okay, okay. So, guys. What what are, what are y'all most nervous about or worried about when it comes to y'all's club? Everything. <laughs> we, we don't know what to expect. We, mm -hmm. we ain't never owned a comic club. We don't know if people are going to show up. We, we never know. owned a business. <laughs> right. You know, it's our first time working yeah, Let's actually say we don't congratulations, know if we don't need. Justice. Congra oh, yes. Okay. Yes, 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 indeed. Like Thank you. Like, Thank bro, you. Yeah. Great job. Appreciate it's just like, you know, whatever it took to, to get to even do this, to even have this opportunity to open up a club and even have the opportunity to not that I'm wishing on you to fail. Like, right. if that opportunity is a blessing, like, bro, no motherfuckers even get the opportunity to even have this type of heartache or okay. whatever's coming with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a part of one honorable within itself. I'm yeah. definitely going to be there. You know, I'm definitely going to come through. And oh. Be like, boom, be funny. <laughs> be speedy, I told you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we're scared of anything. We just, you know, don't know what to anticipate and what to... I mean, my, what? my fear, I mean, it ain't a lot of black... Own comedy clubs in the United States. Oh, like, I say definitely. There has to be a reason that a lot of them don't survive. So, you know. But there's one up in Kalina that's killing it. So, um, they Kalina got it. a lot of black people. They do because of the military, but they they bring in all the national acts. They've had Tommy Davidson, Lil Duvall. I think at one time they were the number one selling comedy club in the country. Kalina is doing it. Mm -hmm. When it comes to black comedy, Kalina is probably holding it down in Texas. Are you trying to make this club like the hub, like for instance, like when you go like like what are those clubs like the Chocolate Factory? Oh, what are you talking about? The Chocolate Sundays? No, Chocolate, Chocolate Factory. Chocolate I think it's called Factory. Chocolate Factory. Uh, the show is called like Chocolate Sundays, but you know like oh, the Laughter Factory. Factory, something like that. They, they make it. They make it to like like I'm watching some comedies, like even or comedians, even when I'm not watching that show, they're like, oh yeah, like comedies. 
that came up in the to uh, in the chocolate factory or whatever. The fuck a stepping stone, factory. yeah. Are you trying to make that one of those inside of um, as well? Like. I'm, I'll say I'm not trying to make it. I want everything to happen organically. Right. Like, you know, we're gonna see who's gonna come out. If black folks come out, then that's probably what it'll turn into. And I don't know. It just depends. Like, right. We just kind of going in there and you know for the best. Yeah. Well, we're seeing what, what, what it's, it's looking promising so far. Like you've already got the building pretty. Like it's already it's done pretty much. Like, no, you've it's already, it's done. Trying to see the time. But, yeah, a lot of hard work. Yeah, that's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. No, that's military time. I don't know. Eight, oh, <laughs> ten minutes, to, ten minutes to nine. Fourteen yeah. minutes to nine. Yeah. To nine? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, we did start kind of late. Okay. So let's uh let's, let's let's talk about these tickets, man. Okay. So how many how many tickets are we able to give away today? I don't know. What should we do? We can do what <laughs> you want to do. Uh, you want to do tables? Like uh, we'll give away one or two tables. Uh, and which and which shows <laughs> and which shows are you are you doing? Uh, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping some JJ and some some TK, well, you know, being that those yeah, are the most. <laughs> we'll probably do it on a later podcast, but mm -hmm. uh, right now we're probably just going to do the soft opening, give some tickets away for that. For the soft opening? Yeah. So who's going to be in, at the soft opening? Oh, this dude named Trey Mac. Oh, my goodness. He Y'all haven't heard of Trey Mac? No. Yeah. Man, he hilarious. Don't say Trey no Mac. like that, because Ace said no like this. Like, no. <laughs> no, I want to know about no. TK. Nah. We, who, so, who, who has hey, a... Mark my words, man. Y'all going to hear about Trey Mac in the coming years, like, nationally. This dude, I don't know why he's not bigger than he is right now. Well, he just started, Even but... Aubrey's going to like Trey Mac. Yeah? Okay. I'm telling this you, Trey dude. Mac is talented. Let me tell you something. He did one of our local shows, what, about six months ago? Yeah. And just brought the freaking house down. I had no clue this dude, cause he like one of those introverts. You just sit down, shine and stuff. He get on the stage and he does this thing where crowd participation and everybody's into it. He can sing, he can rap. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, he has. His, he he filmed his own comedy special. He's from Dallas. Mm -hmm. You can look him up, man. This dude is hilarious, man. Name one more time. Trey Mac. T R E Y. M A C or M A C K. M A C K. Who does marketing for y'all? Yeah, it's just me. I mean, I'm still. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering because y'all ain't putting no videos out. Because that was this will help. This will help well, with. Well, we um, don't do the marketing. <laughs> hire me. Let's do. Well, I'm well, on the marketing. No, we gonna get to that, but we ain't. You know, no, we definitely need some videos with some of these people because they're yeah, funny. Uh, it's on Facebook. You put it on Facebook. Yeah, we, he put, he put we're at the point picture. right now where we don't want to put the cart before the horse. You know, okay. we don't want to tell people all this stuff then it don't happen because because opening the we learned a lot opening a business man especially with the city government we had so many setbacks we were supposed to open in freaking june but you know you got codes and mm. inspections mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff and then with covid they don't come the right time and then we just got the sign up we yeah we just put the sign up yesterday um and then we still there was a sign up now yeah, like, that. like the over the building, yeah, yeah. it's dope too. Y'all need to see it. Mm -hmm. I seen you took a picture. You took yeah. a picture, didn't you? Yeah, but, um, I seen it. So, so that's why we weren't doing a lot of promotion. Like a lot of people don't even know about us yet because we don't. We want to make sure that we open, like open, open before right. we start doing that. Because yeah. we, like you, you guys asked about comedians early. Every day they, they hit him up, like dudes I ain't never heard of. Can I get on the show? We heard about your club. Can I get on the show? I'm like, yeah, who are these? Thirsty. Yeah, I'm like, who are these dudes? <laughs> How do you tell your friends no though? That's hard. I mean, I know they were looking forward business. to you having. A, I know they looked forward to you opening this club. That's how you fail. If having you, your friends. You just see your friends. Yeah, so. I ain't gonna say who it was, but there was a comedian that opened his own. Uh, you say his name. No, <laughs> he, he opened his own comedy club in uh, in Canyon Lake, and his thing was just bringing all his friends, and like that, that was the reason for his failure. Right. So yeah, it ain't really you know they got to understand mm. it's business. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's business, not personal. So you just blame him, actually. That's what I would do. Yeah, yeah. My business partner said no, so sure that's what I do with Arby. I'm like, Arby said no, so. Ace is looking. When Ace want to tell somebody no with something, Ace is yep. calling him. Yep, I do. Mm -hmm. I, I let Arby be the asshole. Yeah, he made right. me do it. Yep. Some people better than that. Mm -hmm. he, right, and I be like, bro, no, why you making me an asshole? Because you don't care. It's not, <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're good. good you're good at it, though. <laughs> it's, just, it's just you're good at it. So it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying? But that's, I mean, I don't know any of the comics he, that he knows, so you know what I'm saying? my way like no nah, we don't want to do that for this reason or we just not doing that yeah so okay okay well, we all right so what we gonna what we gonna do what we gonna do to oh. get them, for them to win these oh, yeah. tickets uh, you know oh. what i'm saying what we gonna what do we want them to do are you yeah, saying something people still online people still yeah, yeah. Online. yeah, yeah, yeah. so to, what's uh, what's uh, that we get them get them to, to finish comment free ticket or something mm. like the 10th 
Oh, yeah, they got to do something here so we can see okay. it. In. Oh, oh there go, go, Debo. Real ones don't have to ask Bobby a businessman. If it ain't business, he not doing it. Oh, uh, hey, Debo, you came in too late. We was talking about you earlier. We was talking about how much shit you be talking. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we said this, he's a great, we, uh, we said that Bobby was saying that you were 50 cent of, of comedy, man. Yeah. Right. So, man, we, we definitely give you your accolades, though, man, because you definitely back it up. You know what I mean? So what are we going to do to get them to win these tickets, though? Are they going to yeah, finish the line or... What are we talking about here? No, so if they still watching, when we first started, I told everybody where I was from. If anybody can comment oh, where I said I was from. Oh, you was paying attention. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah. So if y'all was paying attention, where's this man from, y'all? Damn. Let's see it. Who going to get it? I remember. I remember. Okay. It was, um... <laughs> there's a school. There's a school, actually, in his, in his city. Actually, if I'm correct. Yeah, it is. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to see if he's correct. There's a, there's a street in uh, San Antonio with the same there name. Go, you're right. Yep. Right. Yep. So what 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 is where is this young man from? Yep. If y'all was paying attention at the beginning, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Get free tickets to the soft opening. Tickets. Two free tickets for you and yours. Wow. Trey, Trey Mac. Yeah, I went too. Y'all can take me. <laughs> <laughs> y'all like going to all the events. <laughs> Every time nobody wins. No, they were they weren't paying no attention. They weren't paying no attention. <laughs> what they say? What nothing. They, they say nothing. <laughs> Look, we go through this all the time. They be they be taking forever sometimes. Okay, the next question then we're moving on. Um, where did I meet Bobby at? Where did me and Bobby meet? Mm. Oh. Let's go. Uh, some of you are slow. So <laughs> Their attention span is as is during the subject that we're talking about. After that, they don't know. <laughs> and it's also a little lag too. Like when they when they how right, they see right, it. Right. Nothing. Let's go, y'all. Oh, here we go. I just got on, so I was able to catch my Up top 78. Hey, we didn't mean it no. up top 78. That was one Wrong. of our first shows, though. Yeah, that's a good answer. Oh, one man. of our first shows. Yeah, Uptown 78. He's always asleep. <laughs> Uptown 78. They yeah, he put us on for a little bit. Even though Debo almost shot up one of my shows. <laughs> oh, shit. Debo be trying to beat up his crowd, the crowd. But Debo seem the type, <laughs> if you heckle him, he'll go out there and punch you in your face. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> straight up. You know, that's why his name Debo. Nah, we didn't mean it at the comedy club. All right, next question. That They don't know that one. Um, Bobby Smith, B. Smitty's wife is a what? Why she always oh. got to come up? What is she? What is she? Nah, I don't, I don't like that question. What does she do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that question. Look, that right he'll, get all he'll get all types of answers. Model, right. model, we got a winner. We got a winner. Marry it. Marry it. That's fine. You won. That's fine. That's oh, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, no, she don't count. Yeah, that makes that a model, too. <laughs> oh, there's no, another one right there. She I'm just paying attention. That's fine. Yeah, she, she good. So okay. She's still watching the show. She just happened to be in the audience. Hey, can you write these names? All right, so. So you want to give it to both of them or just or just no, no, one? Because yeah, she went first. She yeah, won first. She so. won in her. Yeah. She get a table for two and then the Mazella. Mazella. Mazella House. Mazella House. Mazella House and the girl. She's outside. Oh. Come on in, Mazella. Um. So okay, can, can we do one more? Can we get some tickets to come through? Mazella won tickets. Can we slide yeah. through? Can we get some? Can yeah, we yeah, we we'll show y'all love. Yeah, we gonna slide. Cool. Man. Cool. We'll stand up, you know. We yeah. Yeah, I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. No, we'll, right. we'll give y'all a shot. We trying, we trying, you know. I, 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 I like, I like to get in there, cover it, take pictures, talk yeah. to some people sometimes. Um, so yeah, but I think that's just promotion. Free tickers, we good. <laughs> there she go. The uh, okay. We got the winner that don't walk uh -huh. in. Both the winners up in here. All right, yeah. Can we do one more or no? Uh, for like, a yeah, feature show. Give it away, like, yeah, let's do a feature show. Okay. Let's do a uh, TK Kirkland show. <laughs> that's what I'm talking right, about. Right, we gotta do. JK. Oh yeah, we can't do TK because he door. Uh, yeah, we can do JJ. You can do JJ. Oh, okay. This is a big one. It's, this is a good one. Right, it's a good one, y'all. Y'all better be. be make it hard. Make it hard. Uh, y'all can't be one of the winners. No. We can't? Nah. Y'all may. You definitely got. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. It is. It All right. Up. Here we go. If, you, if you've been paying attention, how many years did I spend in the Army? I don't, even, I don't even remember that. I, remember, I ain't gonna lie. Bro. I don't. I, I, I missed that one. Tell him that, man, look like my phone did. <laughs> a long time. A long, this is for this is for two tickets to JJ Williamson. Yeah, this is big. Uh, this four. Is Hold on, y'all can't. Y'all already won. Hold yeah. on, y'all already won. Y'all can't uh, be going again. We need some new. Uh, 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 the ninth. Ninth, yeah, ninth, eight, ninth, ten. No, ma'am. For the eight, ninth. 
Yes, Charlotte Johnson. All right, right Charlotte, you got it. You going to see JJ? Yeah, we got that Woo! <laughs> Who's Charlotte? Is she not outside? Is nah. Right no. Out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Charlotte, shout out, shout out to Charlotte, man. Shout Charlotte is Charlotte. always, she it. always yeah, watching, man. She's like one of our number one. Charlotte, stars. you get tickets. Charlotte. You get free two tickets to the JJ Williams and so I told her every night. You just gonna like have her name on the on the. Oh sheet. yeah, yeah, we have her name. Yeah. Charlotte. Hey Charlotte. Um. Uh. Go on Facebook Messenger and inbox me. Uh, Calvin Ross is I'll put you down for two tickets. He put it in the comp. He put it in the comp. Okay, yeah. I'll fuck with you. I told you. I told you. Make sure y'all follow Upstage Comedy Lounge. Yeah, of please. Uh, got yeah, so give 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 us. Do you have a social media yeah, for it? Yeah. Uh, it's Upstage Comedy Lounge on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, also on Twitter. Uh, Black Planet. Uh, <laughs> uh, in, uh, Tinder. Uh, uh, Grinder. <laughs> MySpace. Well, MySpace. Swipe left. <laughs> uh, we also have a web page, Upstage. It's oh, yeah, either or. UpstageComedy.com or UpstageComedyLounge.net. Either one of them, the same one. Okay. Got to show you upcoming uh, shows, your defensive driving class, uh, his comedy class. You talk to me about the defensive driving. Like, how do they. Uh, you know, if y'all get traffic tickets, you can take my class and get your ticket dismissed so uh, you don't have warrants and all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, I've kept a lot of people out of jail, so uh, I'm the one to holler at. Last time I went to court, the judge, actually, that I've been going to see for the last for a while, she don't like me for that mm -hmm. very reason. Because she told me in order to get my license back. Yeah, um, Charlotte, yeah, if you just I, go to uh, um, Facebook, I'll Calvin Ross, and I'll get you to take a drug, uh, whatever I have to go to, like, a little drug class, and I told her, when I own my car, I don't need, like, a license, I just want to get she was like, damn. And she said, well, I could put you in jail. And I said, well, I ain't going to be in there for life, like a couple days. Right? So she <laughs> he ain't scared. Throw away the key. No, it's not that. It's just that James Charlotte's on. But yeah, I'm glad that I know you. She was trying to help you out, actually. She was trying to help me out. Bro. You weren't there. You weren't there. You weren't there, <laughs> there right. Beast Mini. Okay. Hey, hey, can I ask y'all a question real quick? Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, I was going to say, also, we have a, uh, it's called, it's kind of like painting with a twist. Mm. Uh, it's called uh, Design and Wine. Uh, we have a professional painter that comes in and does all that stuff with you. Get your little buzz on with wine. We got that set up. That's all on the webpage. And it's more. I'm, I'm, um, we haven't really set up a date yet, but that's part of the plan. My girl just did one. We, yeah. we made a tree. She made. Is it yeah. You make one. Can we, can yeah. we paint? Can we paint the naked woman? Like you get a naked woman <laughs> and then we paint her. Uh, our artist is named. I see they do it for uh, the men all the time. I want to get one of paint the naked woman. Our artist is named Veronica Smith, and she's very good. She's gonna have an inspiration every time. Um, I think we're gonna start that sometime at the end of September. I don't know the exact date yet. But uh, that's coming out. We got a lot of stuff on there. Um, we we got a, like birthday parties and stuff. But, yeah. And just to confirm the dates, so we got oh eight nine eight nine October. So one of those days, I think that eighth is a Friday, the ninth is a Saturday. That's Whatever for you, one Charlotte. That's for you, Charlotte. Yeah, the eighth so, the ninth. so just for the viewers, one more time. So what are the dates for the soft opening, and then what are the dates for the uh, the TK Kirkland and the Jackson okay. show? <clears throat> Yeah, Labor Day weekend, September 3rd, September 4th is for Trey Mack, our soft opening. Uh, September 5th, we're doing a fundraiser, uh, fashion show comedy that's going to be with my wife. Yes. We talked about way too much. Uh, <laughs> Y'all promoted the hell out of that one. <laughs> for sure. Also, uh, we got JJ, October 9th. We got uh, TK Kirkland, T to the motherfucking K, October 23rd. Uh, that's going to probably sell out. So, uh, make sure yeah. And then we got we got shows in between and show after. He booking people every day. So oh, yeah, we got Debo. He uh, Debo is set to perform October first. Uh, Blair Thompson is uh, September seventeenth, September eighteenth. This all at the new spot. Mm -hmm. All at the new spot. Oh, it's already jumping. It's mm -hmm. already like it yeah. But let me ask my question real quick. Uh, this is for uh, y'all two and everybody that's in the uh, the live. Who y'all want to see? Like, what, what? Just name one comedian that y'all y'all want to try to bring. Down. Bring eighty five here. A five South Show. Uh, I already tried, and they like Tony Roberts. They booked up for a while. Can you bring up Tony? You do Tony Roberts for sure. I'll, 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 Who is Tony Roberts? We're gonna Tony do Tony Roberts. Tony Roberts is good. Well, Kevin on stage. I would love to get him. He's funny. He's I think he's funny. funny. Oh, you know, you know. Okay, so if you talk about like from that, from something like that, uh, Craig Smith, funny. Who's I don't that? Know who that is. Because oh, he's talking about because he's talking about the age. What in the hemoglobin? What's his name? What's that guy? Oh, with, all uh, digital. It's anyway, all digital. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, all digital. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. But uh, and what's the fat dude named Teddy? The fat. Oh, dude? Teddy Ray. Yeah, Teddy, Teddy Ray. Ray funny yeah, as fuck. Yeah. But nonetheless, yeah. Tony Roberts is in Tony Roberts. Tony Roberts. Who y'all want to see, y'all? Tony Baker. Oh, Tony, Tony Baker. Tony Baker. Tony Baker. Hey, what's no, 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 Tony. Oh, oh that's her. I'm not talking about. Hey, Tony Baker. Go He do. He is funny. He just, he just lost his son. I don't, I don't think he, I don't think he gonna be doing anything. Tony Robert, look up Tony Robert. I gotta check it out. Tony Robert's funny as hell. Also, if there are any aspiring comedians out there, we're also doing open mic. 
We just don't know if it's gonna be on a Wednesday or Sunday. Oh, be... I figured it out. We're gonna okay. do open mics on Wednesdays, and then we'll do a, a local showcase on Sundays. So okay. Yeah, G, hey, right here, look. There you go. In the audience, right here. We got. We and got you can one. sign up for all that on our website. You can sign up for all that on our website. We do encourage a lot of ladies. We we don't have a lot of female comedians in San Antonio, so I mm -hmm. need to find some funny ladies. We should do a contest. Yes, you should. I think that'd be dope. Who the funniest? Uh, Lady the queen, the queen of comedy in San Antonio. Y'all got a place to do it, I say. So they said that they got a competition going on. That they got, they got a who goes in the first. Y'all for real? And whoever lose, so the first person that they whoever do it first got to do five minutes. These two right here. Oh, you gonna do it too, Jerry? And make it make sense, Mary. He gonna get up there and sing. He said whoever lose got to do it. They got to do comedy though. Okay. First person to do it wins. Oh. So. Woo, woo. You, kinda, you like Mary Davis a little bit from me. Hey, I keep hearing that. That's going to be in my set. Right okay. <laughs> to let y'all know, we, we got another. I, this is going to be new to everybody, actually. We have another radi uh, Radiating Laughter comedy show, Radiating Laughter 2, coming soon. And wait till y'all see who I'm bringing down. Just wait. Just wait. No, 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 no. Uh, y'all will find out. We, we trying to get this popping off in November. What are you going to do with it? We're going to figure that out. <laughs> then when you said you can you know, hold 300, I was like, ooh, okay, okay. So we might be coming to see you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, November open. Let's, let's see. Okay, happens. okay, okay. Radiating Laughter Comedy Show 2. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. And this time, I'll tell y'all this. This is what I can tell y'all. We're going to do all females this time. We did all males for the first one. We're going to do oh, all you know, females. Right. Like but is, is it going to be somebody that actually does stand up? You're going to get like Felicia from Friday. They're, all from, <laughs> they're actually all from Houston, to be honest. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we actually we got a sponsor now. We got a sponsor for this. this is how this is. Man, I gotta fill y'all in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> my my host is gonna be like, what the? You didn't tell me nothing. I didn't. <laughs> I'm an always out. I'm, I'm just part right two. There. Oh, Cat Williams. Hey, Cat Williams would definitely be a good one. He probably He's expensive. On tour too. Yes, he is. He, he's a, um, a arena type guy. Yeah, I don't mm. think I don't think I'll pick, picking up him. Same with DL. He's an arena type guy. I don't think he's doing. Well, he does laugh out loud and improv and stuff, DL. Yeah, well, we we probably can't get DL. Yeah, he probably yeah. Mm hmm. Well, you never know. You never know. Tony Robbins. Um. Definitely. Uh, what's his name from How to Be a Player? Bill Bellamy. He's pretty. He was pretty. Yeah, we he, he actually brought out. Stand up. Uh, we could probably get Ricky Smiley it? too. He in Dallas. Ooh, yeah. Ricky Smiley. But oh, he in oh, Texas for real. Yeah, he got. A, yeah, he took over the Tom John the Morning Show. He's still doing. Oh, oh y'all be watching this shit on. Um, on, on the I did Friday. not know Ricky yeah, Smiley was yeah, here he in, in Texas. Apollo type thing oh, going real? on, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, he does like a eighty-five. Yeah, at, at the Star Dome in Alabama. Yeah. But he he in Dallas. He in Dallas too. Apollo type thing. He got people singing. People doing all type of shit. Y'all keep y'all ear to the streets on everything, not just me. Mm -hmm. I like y'all. Mm -hmm. Country Wayne. No. No. Somebody put Country Wayne. Yeah. Yes. I would. I would. Fuck, I, I would. He would get a lot of people to come out to see Country. Country Wayne? Yeah. Well, he did a drop for us. Okay. But um, Country Wayne would definitely. He would definitely bring out a hell of a lot of people. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he going to. He's going to bring the people. He's going to bring the people. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to bring like, the money. You know, I don't think he's funny either, but I'm not his. Own, I mean, I'm not his type of artist, but he do bring a lot of people. He do. Yeah. He do, yeah, man. Go. But they're going to be in there just boy. Like. <laughs> <laughs> cricket, <laughs> cricket. Right, Country Wayne, got, I think I know why you don't like He got an older uh, audience a little bit. They're a little older than you, I think. It's not. He called, you, he called you a young boy. Your Have you seen Tropic Thunder? For your auntie. Tropic Thunder is the best. Yeah. The best. Hilarious, right? That's one of the most funniest um, ones. If I'm high. What? Oh, oh man! man. Let's take a look at this. I'm uh, saying that is the funniest. What do you wait? What do you mean? <laughs> Pineapple Express, you gotta be high. Okay, what about Tropic Thunder though? Uh, that's just it's funny than what it was supposed to be. Funny order. Oh, that's comedy. Like, that shit is hilarious. The, that is like the top two movies. Exactly. Oh, no. The top two. Movie. Movie. But, like but you know what? Horrible yeah. Bosses was good too, though. Horrible Bosses is funny. Horrible it's Bosses is funny. funny. It's not. Funny. It's not. He's just playing a character. Yeah, yeah. I'm the dude playing the dude that's got it. I'm the dude. You don't know what dude he is. I'm real pro black. I think it's there. It takes me a little bit to get over. What are you people doing? Uh, Jesus, so did you, you wait, wait, you wait, 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 wait. You, you don't, you don't, you don't like that Robert Downey Jr. did blackface. He didn't uh, do blackface. He didn't. He didn't. He but look, hold on. Blackface, it took a second. Hmm? It, it took a little bit for me to get over it. It was funny. Listen, not black. I want black power. Man. You know that. Major uh, not, not, not major pain. Major pain is. Damon Yo, Damon Wayans. Yes, that would be good. Damon, you don't think? Oh my goodness, yeah, he funny. He funny. Damon is good. Damon Wayne is your stand up. Marlon too though. Marlon Keenan. Him and Keenan. Marlon is definitely not in the movies. He's hilarious. Marlon more slapstick. Marlon is not funny, bro. Tell them he's not funny. 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 T
the whole Wayne family. They go out on tour as a family. You gotta watch it live. I'm telling you, I see him live. It's crazy. You don't? I see this stand up. It's a little coonish for me, man. Oh, we got beef. We got beef. It was corny. It was corny, bro. I seen it. I seen all. What was it on Netflix or something? What was it? He got, he got, he got Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, he got one on. Yep. Got I seen now. them live here. Oh, I ain't Antonio. seen the new one. Then I, I watched. I watched half of the new one this morning. Once his trash is trash. So like Kevin Hart said, up when he was doing that shit in his house, I watched like ten minutes uh, of that shit, and yeah. it was like, oh, I ain't laughed yet. Yeah, that's his worst one. one. Yeah, but it's the same joke. He didn't get to work those jokes out enough because that was during the, oh, the pandemic. You way funnier than Kevin Hart. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, that. Gary Owens, we can try to get Gary Owens. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. No, we can't do Gary Owens because we got beef. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> you know, you should, you should start that, though. You should really start there. You should get on You should get on Instagram oh, and start yeah, talking about, shit. And start talking uh, shit about Gary Owens. You should do it. Uh, Black start that beef. beef with yeah, something really happened. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I wasn't there, but he got uh, some offstage stuff with some other comedians. That, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, asshole. Yeah. yeah, my fact, your co-host. Matter of fact, yeah, I, yeah. I probably you probably didn't want to say the name, but yeah, I said it. Your co-host, I remember. Yeah, he don't care, Blair Thompson. Yeah, yeah. He has some beef with Gary Owens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary Owens actually talked about it on his podcast. Uh-huh. He say it's Owen, no S, okay? Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, Owen, <laughs> Owen, me some money, okay? Shit. Yo, we done? Yeah, yeah. Are we done? Or are we done? Yeah. Hello, do y'all have anything that y'all? You know, we already shot out everything that's coming up, so we got. One more time with the dates, and then when y'all come, they can find y'all on uh, social media. So the dates for um, the talk opening one more time. Uh, talk opening Labor Day weekend, uh-huh. September third, September fourth. Uh, fundraiser on September fifth. The grand open is uh, October eighth and ninth. That's JJ Williamson. There'll be shows in between, and then uh, the major major show we got coming. TK Kirkland. Is it 24th and 25th October, right? 23rd. 23rd, 24th. Oh, JJ and TK Kirkland, I'm sorry. Those the same, two different days. Two different yeah. days yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. I thought it was together. My fault. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, come out and see us. We appreciate all the support. And uh, I think y'all guys are having us on y'all podcast, man. Really hey, uh, could, could they flood y'all inboxes with people they want to see? Is that a good idea? Sure, sure. Of course. Okay. So, can you give y'all individual? Okay. Because y'all did, y'all did the social medias for the, yeah, yeah. the club, but y'all didn't do y'all's. Uh, I don't want my inbox flooded. But, uh, flood it, y'all. That's all I'm talking about. Flood, flood that shit. shit. <laughs> y'all can go to uh, B Smitty Comedy on Instagram. And y'all can go to DJ Double K on Facebook. Bad. With yep. two Ks. DJ Double, then two Ks. Hmm. Can they find us at QP? Yo, you catch us Instagram, Radioactive underscore podcast. And man. Facebook. And on Facebook, of course, you already hear Radioactive Podcast. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, the same. Radioactive Podcast. Yo, this is Radioactive Podcast. Peace. Peace.